John, can you start off by telling us a little bit about where this particular 3D technology has been developed? This, this technology goes back uh, more than 10 years. Uh, we first, uh, I first worked with Jim Cameron on uh, uh, Terminator 2 3D, where it was a, for Universal theme parks, which were 65 millimeter cameras that we uh, basically shot a Terminator chase battle sequence. And that runs today uh, uh, in a number of venues in the United States and in Japan. The, uh, that technology where we had two cameras that were so large, they were as big as basically a washing machine. Jim said, you know, this is not, not doable unless we can come compress this. And Vince Pace had been working on high-definition cameras and, and, and sort of miniaturizing the package. Package being now it's, it weighs 28 pounds and can be, you know, carried like, like a regular uh, steady camera, shoulder-mounted camera, <laughs> same weight as a film camera. Uh, the fusion system is what Vince Pace came up with. Uh, was in initially designed to mimic the human eye, and uh, and during a, a can but for film, like movie film, to to follow person around the room and change interocular, meaning change how your eye sees things while you're filming. That's what the fusion system is called. That's that's kind of what it, what is different about what Vince has been doing. Um, that uh, I started doing commercials and, and do, trying to do commercials in, in stereo, and it's like, why is there? Why, why don't I have a helicopter mount for this? Why don't I have? Why can't I do a car commercial, a car mount with this with this big system? Can't we come up with something smaller? So Vince and others have been sort of compressing and miniaturizing systems, and then one day I. Just, saw MotoGP and these little cameras that they have on, on the bikes and that's sort of got me going and, I'm, and, I, and a year ago I came out to this track to meet uh, Sergey and, uh, and started this conversation of can we, can we film MotoGP uh, live and miniaturize our cameras as, as long you, know, you need a goal to, uh, to you know you have to see, set a goal and, and, and try to achieve it, and that goal is a live broadcast of MotoGP. Uh, and and this, a number of other things came into play, which is home, uh, uh, basically home entertainment centers now being uh, uh, available in 3D. And a lot of and, and 2009 was is, was the year that a number of 3G 3D projects came into being cinematically. Um, and Vince, in the last year and a half, has been we did uh, uh, live uh, basketball, American uh, NBA All-Star game in Las Vegas with live feeds, and all this, you know, experimentation has been going on. And now we're now we we're, we believe we're really ready, and want to push this forward. So that's kind of how it, came. it, it was all uh, based on Jim Cameron and Vince, and Jim specifically saying, uh, if, if we can't get these cameras smaller, what's the point? So. So now we're uh, we're able to you know as, as as people are seeing here, we had two cameras on the track as a test at Laguna Seca last uh, on July 4th, um, and it turned out pretty good. I mean we, we 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 were just on the run. We were doing it like a a, a guerrilla film unit, you know, running around, you know, four laps, move the camera, four laps, go back over here, try to get it, you know, ask see if, if we can get a writer, ask him a question. Um, so I think it's it's showed everybody here the potential, and I think it's pretty exciting for everyone. Yeah, is is it possible to to bring the technology into MotoGP so that live broadcasts across multiple platforms are possible? All right, live broadcast is definitely uh, something that's going to happen, and because we've already been testing that, um, we've done it in a number of venues, basketball, uh, at different parts of the United States, and now everybody was. Questioning you know, what's available in Europe. Europe, uh, all IMAX theaters now are, uh, have the t uh, capability of, of running stereo, and there's no other stereo theaters um, outside of the United States. There's 3,500 stereo cinemas here. There's going to be another 2,000 in Europe by next year. In addition, Sony, Panasonic, uh, I think um, Sanyo, they're all coming out with these 3D compatible monitors. All monitors from this year on will be compatible in stereo with the idea that we know someone's going to broadcast live in 3D. All it is is taking, you know, on, a, on the bikes here, they've got four cameras. We take 
two, put them together, and you still have the same, uh, you have two 3D cameras. So that's what we're kind of testing. And what do you think is going to be the, you know, the biggest uh, improvement with the 3D that the viewer at home will notice compared to normal television? Well, the biggest improvement in stereo is the sharpness and depth and clarity, and it's all going to high depth. I mean, when you double an image in stereo, it's, it's what your eye sees, and, and it basically becomes very, very sharp and, and clear. Yeah, we're using it as a window. Not, not, it's, when we say stereo, it's not the old 50s you know, pop out into the screen. It's clarity as a window. I mean, you say it wasn't pop out into the screen, but, you know, we saw on the demonstration there that, you know, when the, the riders approach the camera, it does actually look like they're coming towards you. I mean, in MotoGP, the, you know, the MotoGP, the riders pass each other very, very close. And already with the rear-facing cameras, you know, it, it's quite a spectacle for people watching on the TV at home. You're not worried about people injuring themselves, falling off the sofa backwards. No, we're not. We're not no, I don't think anybody's going to be injured at home watching. But... We can, and the other thing is, is, is we can control the depth of a scene as it's actually hap- as we're filming it. The, the, it's a live feed, live broadcast, live mix uh, stereo. So if we want to want to show something farther into the screen, or we want to pull something closer to the to the the viewer, that's that's all a live manipulation at the time. So um, that's the goal.